live from the FIA Barcelona Gran Via Conference Center in Barcelona, Spain. It's The Cube at HP Discover Barcelona 2014. Brought to you by headline sponsor, HP. Here are your hosts, John Furrier and Dave Vellante. Welcome back, everyone. We're live here in Barcelona, Spain for HP Discover 2014. It's the Cube, our flagship program. We go out to the events and strike the sinful noise. Winding down day two of three days of wall-to-wall -wall coverage. Uh, the Cube extracts the sinful from the noise, connects the dots with the crowd, with crowd chat. I'm John Furrier with my co-host Dave Vellante. Our next guest is Cube alum, our, one of our favorite guests, Craig Nunez, who loves to come on and give us the update on HP Storage. He's the vice president of HP Storage and also a good friend and supporter of the Cube. Really be thankful uh, for your support over the years. Appreciate it. Um, let's get down and dirty right away. Party last night was really good. <laughs> storage party we was legendary. We found the recipe in Barcelona. We found one that works. We so. sucked the oxygen out of the, all the other parties. It's like, um, good time, good job. Good, good to yeah. see customers there, Brocade, yeah. Um, Emulex. Yeah, yeah, I know it was uh, great just to chill out with everybody. and. You know, uh, storage is not just uh, products, it's a way of life, right? So we're just living it. The lifestyle. Yeah. You guys have a great community. Like I was just saying to Dave, uh, you know, commenting. Um, storage, you guys really invested in and built a great community. Three par culture when you guys had it before you came to HP. And HP had some social, you had Calvin doing some stuff, they do doing some podcasts, but that was the beginning of what becomes now as community. It's community on the developer side, but the customer community. You guys have great loyalty, brand loyalty, um, products are great too, but yeah. more importantly, you have customers down there dancing. It really shows that you guys have not just bought community or try to check a box in some program called build a community. You actually have done it the right way, so congratulations. Yeah, thanks, appreciate that. What's the secret of success? Share your secret, secret sauce. I God, I tell you, if you <laughs> if you can you know build stuff that delivers, that works as promised, and make your customers heroes, and then you know, connect those guys with the engineers, with the technical guys, right? So that they're a part of, you know, what we what we do next. It's you know, everybody's you know, everybody is, uh, um, you know, becomes emotionally involved in the success of what's going on. You guys are great. You do the cube with the kind of executive level from the business side, and you got Calvin and the bloggers in the blogger mm -hmm. lounge. I mean, they got they have tech talks going on all around the clock. That is the secret. Just. To have a great product, do what you say you're going to do, and connect the right people to have the right questions, Absolutely. the right guys with the right answers. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right, so let's get into the products. Let's talk about competition. Where are you guys winning right now? Because Dave and I were talking about, you know, vis be the architecture you guys have versus some of the competitors. Some startups are worth $4 billion, uh, like Pure uh, Storage. Um, you got EMC getting in the Flash business. You have Flash. What's going on with the competition? How do you guys stack? Well, IDC just published the rearview mirror. I don't know if you saw that. Okay, so you guys are not, you guys are just up right? yet. you guys you guys weren't first to market with the all flash array and now you're growing like this absolutely right so yeah. the numbers are yeah. going to change yeah so the uh, so we have seen kind of the hockey stick in uh, flash and you know the pull for it and you know part of what we were talking about in fact we talked about it, I think last June um, you know if you can get the affordability right on flash if you can drive it down and you know, crossover spinning disc. People will buy it because who wouldn't? It's faster and better service levels, right? So um, we had been, uh, I won't say singularly focused on that, but that's been a huge, huge focus. And we rolled three generations of disc, a ton of software investment, crossed over 15K last June. Um, and the, you know, the, it's shown in our numbers, we've shipped a couple of quarters ago more flash capacity than 15K capacity. You know, the next stop is crossing over 10K capacity and, you know, continuing to drive down the cost of flash aggressively. Um, the, and then, you know, the other side is, you know, simply delivering the, the uh, scalability, many times the scalability of, you know, what the other guys are delivering out there. I had one customer here at the show say, you know, one of the factors in my assessment was I would have been out of capacity day one with the other guy. 
And, you know, with yours, you've got six times that, it, it was good for a long time. Um, you know, so focus on scale, focus on the tier one uh, uh, availability, resilience capability. It's been good. Uh, and because of that, you know, there's been a huge amount of pull because people are coming off high-end storage systems. We're, you know, seeing a lot of VMAX customers who are kind of fork in the road. Do I go next VMAX? Do I try to, you know, take a, a different approach? Um, and they love the flash story. Why? Great service levels with flash, all the tier one availability you need, and the space required is like nothing compared to the you know the tiles and tiles of spinning drives and, and uh, VMAX frames. That so got. around the time that you and David Scott left HP to go start three par, yeah, HP kind of turned off the R and D spigot and storage and said, ah, we got EVA and let's just bump along with, yeah. with that. And that opened the door for EMC and NetApp to come into your install base. And then, of course, the three-par acquisition yeah. is well documented and well known. Um, you should now be in a position to gain share just within your own base. Are you seeing your share of, of, of market for the three-par piece of the business um, dramatically, you know, meaningfully increase relative to that period of time yeah, where the spigot yeah. shut off. So, and what would yeah, you expect yeah. for all I flash? Give you, I give you my perspective, and you know, this is kind of Craig's view. Um, and I was not at HP back then, so outside. Looking well, and you in, weren't in storage uh, either, right? So, um, well, I was. I was in storage uh, while. Uh, so HP picked up Compaq, bought a nice storage business. Yeah. Um, I was at Three Par at the time. And oh, yeah, even sure. after that acquisition, and after some of the you know poor investment choices that were made back then, um, you know the I think HP overall from a storage perspective, you know they continued to gain share. Mm -hmm. They were you know uh, top in the market for a long time. The um, and so the the point to that is uh, the backward looking share metrics don't represent what's happening today right now with customers. It takes a while to catch up. And, uh, and it took a while, and, and once, you know, once things kind of turned south, it, it, you know, very clearly that things were in bad shape. Um, and, you know, so the, I think the, the work involved in, you know, kind of uh, retaking uh, leadership, like here in EMEA, I love coming here because in the mid-range, we've got that leadership, yeah. three par is the number one. Well, range. you didn't have the hot products back then. You got the hot products. Then. Yes, and so part of it point. is just uh, you know, good old-fashioned um, you know, proving it out. Like we're talking with John every quarter, delivering something better, getting folks. I guess the reason for my question is that, big yeah. So the reason for my question is that to gain share, you don't even necessarily have to go whole hog off platform. You could do it on platform. Is that a correct um, premise or? I, when you say on platform, you mean HP. attaching to HP, HP customers. Yeah. Um, I well, I look at it different because HP customers, HP server customers have made a storage choice that you know at some point they were happy with. Yeah. Um, and you know, we'll pick on our buddies at EMC. You know, EMC's got a lot of good footprint out there, and so uh, I don't look at it as an HP server attach. I look at it as an EMC displacement. And so we've got to bring, you know, markedly better stuff to get folks to uh, consider something different. Now, the, the good news is um, with, you know, the transition in the mid-range that EMC's in the process of going through and now the transition to high end, you know, there are points where, you know, customers are trying to work out, you know, I, what do I do next? And, and the easier you can make it, for them to you know consider something else, the, the better. And we've been focused not just on great um, uh, three-par capabilities, but you know solving the problem of moving data from the EMC platform to three-par. Uh, in fact, here at Discover, we introduced uh, a um, data migration capability built on our uh, Storage Federation software called Online Import from VMAX. And it just, it makes it easier for folks, uh, lowers the risk for folks, you know, to come on over and take advantage. Well, Lee Pedlow was on. He said he, did, they did a bake-off yeah. at Sony. And he said they baked, they looked at performance, scalability, uh, resiliency, and TCO. Those are the four metrics. Yeah. Yeah. And he 
Gets it. Three car all flash away. Blew it away. Yeah. Um, and in particular, the performance, I asked him, do you see a, could you see a meaningful delta in performance? He says, oh yeah. A lot of the all flash arrays, when they filled up and they had a good garbage collection, performance went to hell in a basket. Why is that not the case for you? Well, part of it is they are going to, you know, it's it's back to kind of a scale question. You're going to, you know, hit your 30 or 40 terabyte raw max in, you know, a lot of these platforms. And we, you know, we can keep on going to 460 terabytes raw, um, 1.4 petabytes after dedupe, right? So you don't, you're not going to hit those scalability limits, you have those um, algorithmic limits in your uh, dedupe algorithm in memory, you know, period. I mean, you're going to have a platform that's going to scale. And we've never suffered from, even with spinners, we've never suffered from, as you fill the platform, you know, you, your performance starts to degrade. We don't, we don't uh, have that issue with 3PAR. We have a fundamentally different architecture. And, and you know, a guy like C. Mac Mazzari is a, a guy who would, could explain to you in, in no uncertain terms exactly how we get that. But we simply don't have that that issue. So um, you know, that for sure is a part of it. And it's um, you know, it is it's it's not one thing, but it's it's you know, the performance discussion, it's the scalability, it's hey, I'm putting my most important stuff on this platform, you know, what are you doing about single system resilience and availability and all that stuff, and it's there. Um, and then, you know, and then when it comes time to actually, you know, go through a transaction, the cost structure is great. I mean, we have a cost structure that no one can beat today in the industry. Um, we are out ahead of folks with the large capacity drive, and, you know, we're going to keep hammering that away. Well, and you've got... You got the most robust all flash stack in the business. Right on. I think that's a. I think that's a. That's. I guess that's my opinion. I'm trying to think of anybody else who's good because most of this stuff is, is new, yeah. so they haven't had the time yeah. to yeah. Um, build the stacks. IBM with TMS connected to an SVC has got a nice stack, but you got to have an SVC. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. If you don't have an SVC, it doesn't have a stack. So that to me is, is a big advantage. I want you to talk about the the persona thing. Is sure. Turn a three par into the God box. <laughs> God box. I hate that word only because box is in the word, and it has nothing to do with There's the God metal. solution. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's all about uh, the software approach, and the you know the cool thing with personas is we have uh, evolved the software to take advantage of. Um, or, a file system and rich protocols on top of that, and you know, REST-based APIs um, right in the OS. So it is the you know the same thing that served up uh, your VMware environments and KVM environments and your um, uh, databases, etc. The same software is now serving up you know SMB and NFS and, and REST-based data. So it's it's the same architecture, the same platform, and so manageability is way better. Folks love what they go through. Um, the efficiency is better. It's you know what I uh, have been telling folks is what per, what personas is not is it is not an emulation layer, right? Um, you know, a file emulation over block or you know, block emulation over file is you know when it, when the vendors. Uh, has implemented. It is not a management UI over just totally different architectures. It's not that, and that doesn't really help. It kills you on efficiency. It kills you on density. Uh, it kills you on management time because you still have to do you can't work. Can't scale, right? Um, and so we have the benefit. I mean, let me also say the trade-offs the other guys made. Who cares? They made a great unified storage market and folks were willing to deal with some of those trade-offs because they liked what they were getting. Yeah, I good. think the I think the what we're bringing is, hey, you know what? You don't have to deal with those trade-offs anymore. You know, get, got a great unified storage platform. Check it out. Take a look. Right. So that's kind of well. The conventional cool. wisdom always says it's it's easier to go from small to big. Intel, right? Um, you, can, you can't go from you know large mainframe class down. Three Pro is actually proving that wrong. Right. You know, you're really doing it. The other thing I'll observe, we're getting the hook. 
There wasn't a brain drain after HP no. acquired Three Power. No. You kept like all the really, really key people. Well, if if you think that we have a cult-like following in our customers, you know, talk to the engineers, talk to my product managers. Mm -hmm. You know, those guys. They live and breathe this stuff. They bleed this stuff. It is, you know, it's more than just a job and a product, right? This is like, this is them. And so uh, it, that has really, you know, held together over time. And the way, um, you know, the way we run the business as part of HP is we get all the benefit of the, the HP umbrella, but we continue to, to drive, you know, a great focused storage business around three car and store virtual and store ones and, and the rest, so it's uh, been great. All right, cool, we're getting the hook, Miles. I'll give you the last word. I really appreciate you coming by. You know, it's just super busy. We're, we're, we're packed, yeah, too, but, uh, but we can, it wouldn't be the same, Craig, without having <laughs> you on. So I'll give you the last word on uh, Discover Barcelona, the, the, the storage space here. What's, uh, what's your bottom line? Um, yeah, so we've spent the time talking about Flash, but we are getting a ton of traffic in two other areas, the software-defined storage area, because it's not just about VSA and VM-based storage. We've got a wonderful hyper-converged uh, appliance built on that same technology that is hot, hot, hot. And, uh, and then we're seeing a ton of interest in um, uh, what we call flat backup, that this approach to really turn store once into uh, a application managed backup feature of 3 par uh, you know for the uh, at home my family are Apple users and they have time machine on Apple and what we're what we've got here is a lot like the time machine feature for 3 par and that has just got people's eyes wide open to understand how more easily they protect their 3 par data that's driving a ton of well that data. model that paradigm uh, I've, <laughs> I've been talking about this so I can't get it. I can't tell you how many times. I'm really <laughs> thrilled to see that happening. I'm not surprised that that the uptake and the interest is, yeah. is very high. I mean, it's it's the right way. Right on. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. Hey, thanks again for coming on. All right. Always Probably. a pleasure. Great thanks to see you. Buddy. All right. Keep it right there, everybody. We will be right back after this. This is the, the Cube. We're live from HP Barcelona. HP Discover from Barcelona. Be right back.